Okay, so they tell us in this problem, when 36 is subtracted from the square of a number, the result is 5 times the number. What is the positive solution? So let's break this down. Notice they refer to the number twice, or a number. So that's going to equal x. So the number, I'm going to set to our variable. You can pick any variable, but I'll pick x. And we know that 36 is subtracted from the square of this number. So the square of any number, right, in a variable would equal x times x, which is x squared, or x to the second power. So we're taking 36 from x squared. So we have x squared right, minus 36. And we know the result is, that means equals, 5 times the number. So 5 times x, our original number. They want to know what the positive solution is. And that's just referring to the fact that we're dealing with a square root, or quadratic, right? Because x squared, for example, if you knew x squared equaled 9, this would have two answers. x could equal a positive 3, and x could equal negative 3. Positive 3 squared is 9, and negative 3 squared is also 9. So this is just referring to the fact that when you have a number squared, there could be two solutions, and they're saying pick the positive one only. So we have a quadratic here. I'm going to write it as, we we'll subtract 5x from both sides. What will that give me? Well, it gives me x squared minus 5x minus 36, and that's going to equal 0, because I took 5x from both sides, right? And 5x minus 5x is 0. So now, what do I do? Well, the basic strategy and hope is that I don't have to use the quadratic formula. I'm going to look for factors of negative 36 that add up to negative 5. So can I do that? Well, what are factors of 36? I'm going to jump right to negative 9 times 4. And that works, right, because negative 9 times 4 is negative 36. And negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. So that works nicely. Again, the general strategy and hope is that you can find factors of this term, this is the C term, that multiply to C and that add to the B term. And that just has to do with the way you factor this out. Because now what you can do is write x, right, minus 9. What I'm doing here is I'll write x and then have plug in the first factor, plus or minus. That's a negative, so I, I subtract. Times x plus 4. This is going to equal 0. So now what happens? Well, you're saying that the product of these two terms, right, equals 0. So this first thing could be 0, or the second, or they both could be, right? Going back to the idea that, let's see, you have two numbers, x times y, that equals 0. Well, in order to multiply and get 0, either both of these things are 0, or one of them is. So let's assume that they both are and see what happens. So what would this have to be for, in order for it to be 0? What x value would work? Well, you could solve it. x minus 9 equals 0 when, solving for x, I add to both sides, when x equals 9. And that makes sense, right? Because 9 minus 9 is 0. When does x plus 4 equal 0? Well, you can solve it. x plus 4 equals 0. Subtract 4 from both sides when x is negative 4. So here, they just want the positive solution. So I'm going to circle 1. x equals 9. This is a basic quadratic question. Thanks.